let's uh, get the first game of the day in here. This guy is like a, it's like a mix between, there's, I think there's a grandmaster called like Chanda Sandipan from India. And there's also one called Surya Ganguly. And this guy's name is Sandy Fanguli. <laughs> He's a cross between two GMs. All right, pieces out. We've seen this setup before. I'll go for D4. These kind of positions are usually desirable where your bishop is just open on a nice diagonal like that. These are the sort of Meroxy bind positions. So you'll notice our opponent, you know, has a structure that we're familiar with as well. We've had this before. I'm gonna go here. Okay. I think we can still go. We should be two. I think I like our spot here. Two very nicely placed bishops. Here, so I like to follow up with rook c1, just chase the queen. If knight here, then knight d5 is a... I mean, it's just a, a good move usually, um, because they can't take it. Plus, I'm not committed to anything, like, after knight here, okay, I can just play normal move, like. Knight takes, takes, knight before, though, is the reason that this shouldn't be good. Now I'm attacking it twice, should at least win a pawn here, perhaps more. But that's why, I mean, you see my opponent play queen here, queen here, queen here. That's three queen moves. We're happy to see that. Where do we want to put this? Knight b4 to go to d5. Probably not. Keep it simple with knight d4. I would like to have that move work. I am thinking of actually bishop takes here. For some reason. <laughs> Doesn't quite work, but it came to mind. Let's just go like that. So we pickpocketed, pickpocketed a full pawn. F3 or king back. Definitely thinking king back is safer. If I win f3, sometimes you just have to deal with knight g4. Threatening knight e3, it's pinned as well, so I can't take it. Um, and then the bishop on b2 would be would be loose. Hey, by the way, guys, did did that just happen, or did we all miss it? When did we get 30 green chefs? I saw we were at 29. Did 30 just happen like the second or something? We hit the big 3-0. Who was that? Who was that? Thank you very much. Okay, I'm gonna choose a very, very simple and boring way to play. Not even necessarily the best, but I'm gonna erect that knight on b5. That's right, the files are unlocked. Perhaps queen here. Definitely want a rook on the d file, and I might actually want this rook on the d file. 
because he's putting some pressure down there. He's intending perhaps d5. So after this, now there's nothing. Nothing doing. Queen f3 I'm thinking of. Also just start with rookie one. Yeah, queen f3 would be nice. I do want to trade here. Daxi Poo, thanks for gifting a sub. Appreciate it, buddy. Eh? <laughs> Alright, who can come up with the best possible suggestion? What did he mean to do? This is like a meme template. You guys fill in the blanks. What was his intention when he accidentally played Rook to D5? Take the knight? Looks like an awful move. Rook C5? Hanging his whole queen? Jeez. It's tough. I, and by the way, I don't know. There's like no right answers. Because we don't really know the answer ourselves, but. All right, let's continue here. We're going to go for the usual. In English with uh, the Fianchetto setup. He's just going to go straight D5. Anytime you see the move D5, I mean, sometimes even with E6 and C6 played, you might take it, but I would say usually not. When these pawns are here, I don't normally take to have it take back. But if anyone plays d5 against the English, and there's no pawn that recaptures, then you take straight away. Like, just good habit, just take it. Okay, now, it actually looks like we're kind of playing a Grunfeld if I play d4, but I'm going to stay in... English territory and only play d3. Damn, you started to watch Chesspra in 2013. Wow, that's a really touching answer. I know it's a lie, but it's, that's really sweet. To be fair, you didn't say that you started to watch Chesspra in 2013. You said you started to watch me. So maybe you've just been stalking me since 2013, in which case, good to know. <laughs> Bishop E6. I mean, knight g5 comes to mind. I, I like the look of this move. Feels like we gain a little bit of time here. Plus, knight e4, knight c5 is a reasonable uh, reroute. So knight c5, hits the pawn, hits the bishop, feels like a good square to be on. Feels like a great square to be on now. So now I'm I'm basically hitting hitting the knight like I was from uh G or sorry, hitting the bishop like I was from g5, but now c5 also hits the pawn. So kind of like that. Take Rook uh, C1. The knight still can't move. Knight E4, Knight C5. Remember, I've got two of these things, so 
might decide to bring another one in. We do see b6. I feel like knight to d4 is coming. Which is why I am thinking about d4, d5 myself. Knight b5, it's the knight. Feels like a pretty good move. Knight takes b4. Knight takes a7. What the hell's happening there? Let's go for it. That looks enticing. Knight takes, knight takes a7. To be fair, I didn't really calculate this one too much. I'll be honest. I'll be honest, because I saw this knight was hanging, and I thought, okay. He doubles his pawns there. We should be kind of happy to see it. Let's tickle the rook. both tickled each other. Uh, except in his case, I'm like a little concerned. <laughs> I just don't really get it. So I can take this, queen takes, rook a1, bishop h3, f3, bishop takes f1, and maybe king takes or takes on uh, rook takes a3. Either way, I'll be up a full piece there. The other way to do it is just rook a1. Bishop here, queen c3. And I'm certainly going to be up in that position as well. Honestly, both look really good. Kind of tough to say. I mean, this simplifies more, so it's kind of attractive. But they both, they both seem completely winning to me. So he, I don't know, he did that to himself. That bishop a3 move was not necessary at all. It could have just come back. Could have just moved back. Yeah, it was a little bit much. But you know what? There is something that I mentioned in this, uh, in this speed run. I mentioned it a while back, and it was that... Meanwhile, let's go here. And it was that when we take this pawn on b7, don't follow up with bishop a6. Always be happy taking that pawn and just moving straight back. And I know he didn't win a pawn here, but the same principle applies. Like, never bring your bishop off the fianchetto diagonal because it's not going to get back to that diagonal ever. And I feel like it only leads to regret. Here, f6, takes, queen takes here, and then queen f2. Oh. <laughs> Wasn't really familiar with your game. <laughs> well, it's another strange decision. All right, I'll trap the bishop. You're gonna force me to trap it. Should 
GG. All right, we're against Stanley here. We're seeing a ton of E5 against C4 and makes sense. We aren't seeing any of that. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. The move H5 has not been seen. One thing we do know, H4 can always be played as a reaction to it. H3 and H4 are the first two moves I think of. I look at Knight here, I see this move and I'm like, okay, you know, I'm not that interested anymore. Right, because I see this and I see H4 coming. However, the reason that I like Knight F3 is after E4 and H5, I don't see how he's saving this pawn. Knight here. To me, this pawn just looks silly. Now we could go e3 and d4 once again. I like that idea. But I'm also looking at simply d3. This looks really logical. Take control of that. I'm not going to rush to castle here because, hey, I mean, the guy wants that, right? Bishop g5 now. These sort of moves. Okay, a6. Yeah, I'm thinking that, that this position looks quite good, put it that way. Seems to be very nice. Yeah, A3 makes a good impression, that's for sure. Let's go Knight D2. Perhaps Knight E4 is on, uh, on the cards here. Bishop D4, I guess we just defend this. The annoying thing for him is like, I just don't know how he deals with this, right? Isn't this just permanently an issue for him? There you go. <laughs> Gotta get rid of that thing, right? Okay, let's get that bishop up out of there. 94 is probably my next idea. Adding on to the pressure. That move is not an option, but it is your only option, you know? You can't play knight a5, so he's gonna lose a pawn here. And it's a pretty bad pawn to lose, not gonna lie. Should we take it with the knight to win another pawn, or should we take it, or sorry, take it to end up with the knight or to end up with the bishop? I think the bishop is very tempting. <laughs> I mean, the bishop pair is just like, it's tough to say no to that. Tough to say no to the bishop pair, guys. Always uh, repeat, right? Always repeat. This feels like the right move.
Always repeat. I want to take here, but rook takes and rook g8 exists. It's not nice to open that bishop up. It's not nice to lose a pawn. I think we have a few ways out here. Oh my god, I didn't see this move. Wow. I was about to say we have a few ways out, and as soon as I highlighted them, I was like, wait, knight g8 would be a great move. Didn't see that at all. Um, I think I'm going to put his queen on h7, because it looks worse there. So we may as well do that. We can also play this move and pretend like we're still in a calculation here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did not see knight g8 at all. That's a nice move. Um, and the worst part is that I'm left battling these two pieces, which is like, ugh. Probably have to do this. I can't let him... Uh, consolidate easily like I don't know god forbid bishop gets there so I am going to be a little aggressive here with f4 h8 was sick just sick um rook f1 my king doesn't have many options here I'm not gonna lie Queen here is the intent. I mean, what else, right? What else? Go here. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hang on a sec. Don't I have chances now? Just one second here. Not able to finesse this one. Not today. Knight G8 was a great move. I missed it, so, you know. Mm. All right. We'll see if we can uh, grab the world's most important stalemate. <laughs> oh, man. Good game. Good game. Um... I just completely missed it. 
It's a great move. But man, he really gave me some chances at the end. It's almost like a, like a playing with your food episode. I got really excited here. I mean, white's better, obviously, but um, not enough time to not enough time to do anything about it. Um, so where was knight g8? Yeah, I mean, e4 felt wrong to me for so many reasons, and I said them out loud. I was like, it really doesn't feel good. Of course, we should lose the pawn, play here or play here, whatever. You know, give up this pawn and. Hey, we've done a good job uh, so far, but <sighs> e4, e4, it's a really bad move. Knight g8, I just wasn't on my radar at all. But if only I had explained to you guys why my bishop was going to get out before I played e4, then I might have seen it because as soon as I was like, yeah, my bishop has loads of squares, f6, h6, as soon as I drew the the highlights i was like oh my goodness knight g8 covers both of them derp and it and, and even hits my bishop knight g8 would be a great move even with like a queen on d8 <laughs> but it also attacks my bishop so funny enough our position is so okay that you know the engine is not even concerned about it it's like hey man you still have the advantage but uh, i almost disagree like you have to play like very very, very, very specific to uh, to push an edge here. Oh, we get the white pieces again. Maybe to make amends. Maybe to. I mean, it's not like the not like the opening was the problem. Got a nice position. Won some material. Okay, so yeah, if d5. I think I'm going to. I just don't like playing these positions, and I'm trying to avoid playing a Catalan, so I guess I'll play that. Or maybe start with this. Is pawn c6 a legit response to the English? Absolutely, dude. <laughs> c6 is uh, a very good move. I think I'll go here. Funny thing is, if he takes, he is going to lose some material already. But despite doing this, his bishop is so strong. So I'm even though I won material, I don't even feel that accomplished yet. Feel the need to play this. I'm uh, I'm quite bothered by that bishop there. Yeah, so this is okay. I mean, we're up. We've got our material. We're happy with that. Maybe we can be more aggressive here. Go for this. I mean, 98 is available. Maybe 98, queen d8. <laughs> Find a way for me to lose my queen in there. Let's keep it simple. Offer a queen exchange that I know he can't accept. here but not even that move works knight g5 queen e7 i'm struggling here i'm struggling we're gonna have to give him a whole bunch of tempi now all because of this fiasco with the uh, queen c7 
here. 91. At least that trades. I think he's got to go back. Okay, we just simplified that pawn on d4 for my pawn on d3, which is a good thing. And we traded rooks, so this should be a win. Wow. We're already on the lookout for that move. But I don't, I have to say, I don't really understand um, rook d2. Now we're up two exchanges, which means, and what you should probably be thinking here is that you have an exchange to give. Like, like I can give an exchange back in a lot of lines and still be good. Now it seems like a seven falls. I mean, knight's attacks pretty much have to play that move. Ooh, I wasn't sure that allowing queen d8 was good here. So queen d8. I guess bishop f8. I want to trade things. That, <laughs> that I want most of all. Just trades. Any trades. Let's give this check. Definitely good to tie up the knight. Make it so it can't move. Um, f4 might... Might be a very, uh, very good try next. Knight takes, queen takes. I think we want to throw an e5. Just get that pawn out of the way. I don't like it blocking my bishop. Might want to use the e-file as well. I'm feeling that if knight takes, queen takes d4. Although, to be honest, bishop e7 is a very decent intermezzo. Still queen c8, though. Queen c8 kind of ties him up there. Bishop c5 is covered. That's a pin. Our next move is probably going to be king h1 for safety. Get the heck out of dodge. We can go after these pawns later. Rook here. Yeah, now it's time to take these pawns. This should be seven. Queen takes a seven as well. Queen a7, queen d7. Am I worried about something there? Pin that, threaten the knight. That should do it. Hmm. That should do it. 
Knight d7, and queen e4. I think the pieces are falling here. I know the pieces are falling. If he went queen d3, then we had bishop a6 as the final move, final touch. Oh, good game, good game. Let's keep it going here. c4, we wanna go bishop g2. We've done this before. Ah, so we want to wait because we're not sure if he's going to play f5. So we're not going to commit that knight. Now we see this. We can play knight f3. Bishop h5, I believe g4. Takes, takes. Queen e7 looks like bishop e3. Followed by maybe castling. Knight d5 is a big move here, so I think he's got to take this. That follows our usual rule, which is, yeah, I mean, if you're going to play that and you don't take knight d5, and your bishop might even just get trapped there on b4. Doesn't take a genius to play rookie one, <laughs> as you can see. I mean, it's just gonna let me take that. Thanks, buddy. Here. We have to deal with knight e4. So I'm thinking we go like this. Sorry, like this. g5 looks weird but there's no way to kick it out and it stops 94 which kind of bothered me there well, that was decent enough that it caused him to go back nice Queen a4 here. We're just modest. Queen f3 or something. And queen f3. If knight a5, I'll go c5. Or actually queen d5 even could be good. Hit the knight. Pawn's a little tender, so knight a5 definitely feels like a good idea for him. I'm happier to see that. Even though d5 takes all the squares, b6 and knight to c5, and that knight will return even stronger. I'm not sure we want to anger him like that. Or if 96, I mean, I guess he can't play 96 straight away. You don't mind this. In fact, this might help us out. Ooh, that move unfortunately looks like a mistake. Now I'm all about this 
e6 pawn, and the move c5 is gonna get me some dark squares as well. Yep, this looks, this looks good. Bishop here. Missed an opportunity to play f5 there, unfortunately. Yeah, the knight blocked the bishop from communicating with the rook. And again, rook takes d6 looked very tempting, but can't say no to this. B5C5 would just be catastrophic for him. Now these pawns are so, so solid. Nasty, guys. Oof. Yeah, Queen E5, Bishop E4, these kind of moves make sense. He's definitely playing that next. I'm gonna go bishop here and then queen h5. And we'll start with queen h5. That's no good. And he's basically playing down a piece here, right? The bishop on a4 is trapped. No good. I mean, what's it doing on b5 as well? So its best possible option is still bad square. We're essentially up a full piece. And we've obviously got that pawn on d6, which is worth almost a rook or something. Bishop g6, queen h7, queen h8 is going to be made. Um, and it's very, very hard to stop that. If we check, the king comes up. I don't necessarily see the mate, so... Let's keep it simple and go bishop g6 first. Covered, covered, that's force mate. And if the king goes there, we just check on h7 first, slaughter step, and then get to h8 eventually. Which means less French. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa there, bud. e6. What the heck setup is that? Well, I'll stay true to the speed run here. We're gonna keep it very English focused. B4. Thanks again, uh, Frexion, um, Hadavian DNN, and Tomato. Thanks for the three months, seven months, Cadavian, Frex Gem with the seven months, all with Prime. Appreciate that, guys. Okay, C5 is a, I would say a little bit of a strange move. We stop D4. Mm, yeah, you can play it, but at least... We're happy to take. And go for b4. Not gonna win this pawn, but b4 is nice. It takes away the square there. Normally when you're playing against the Benoni, which is essentially the structure that Black's got now, you're not really supposed to allow this stuff.
makes sense. Uh, we're gonna continue with our plan though. D4. And he, black should always take here. Um, just because, hey, you may as well use the open file. Speaking of open files, let's try to use the semi-open file here. Just putting pressure. Obviously, I know I can't take that. I'm only attacking it twice. It's very well defended, but knight takes d4, right? Maybe that's an idea now. It's all about creating those threats, creating that mini pressure. Rookie one is a move that I, I didn't play because I saw knight takes d4. I played it because it, I just know it's a normal move. I know it's a good move. Knight b5 coming soon. Get our rook the heck out of there. Knight e4, bishop f4. Even c5, knight c4. I feel like I have a lot of moves coming with tempo. Yeah, we'll definitely do this. Knight there. Bishop f4. So many uh, moves coming with tempo here. And we're up a pawn. Let's not forget. b3 pressure on the king there queen b3 followed by maybe rook e6 rook takes is the first move i'm thinking of no doubt about it <laughs> and then rook here or sorry bishop there i don't think it leads to anything though so yeah Probably just do this. I'll just go bishop f4. You know, knight here, I have all sorts of moves that can pile on. Bishop d5, and it, hey, if he goes back knight d7, I mean, that just looks like a mistake. You know, knight d7, queen d3. I mean, that's just a free piece. Check. Bishop e5. Yeah, the full piece is quite helpful. Yeah. And, uh,. Pretty convincing game. As soon as we got b4, it just felt good, right? That that felt like uh... yeah. Once we got this b4, you know we have a good position. Rookie one, and it's okay. He's already got to answer this, and it was like knight c6. There's gonna be pawns coming. C5 and knight c4 is a pretty common idea. Adrigus. Okay. C4, E5 is becoming standard. Fairly standard. Let's go for the quick fianchetto. And he's he's done the same. Interesting. Okay. I'm curious where he's going to put his knight, most of all. Here or here? Or if he's going to play F5 first. Huh? Bishop. H6? Well... If I see something strange like that, my instinct is definitely e3, like, don't let him take my bishop, because he probably wants to. So I see something like bishop h6, and that's my first thought. It's like, hey, if he wants to do it, don't let him do it. <laughs> Plain and simple. 
I'm also looking at h4, h5. Looks quite tempting. It's actually very tempting. Especially against the Castle King. No knight on f6 and a bishop on h6. I like h4 a lot, actually. Yeah, h5. h5, g5, but then, you know, if he ever moves his bishop, then we go h5 ourselves. He goes king g7. I'm not getting a good feeling about this position for him. Something feels off. I definitely want to put a bishop on this diagonal now. Only seems to make sense. E4, bishop, b2. Also, if bishop here, he's not threatening anything. There's no e4 just yet. So I think we can continue like this. If f5, he's still not really threatening e4 if I play bishop b2, because that diagonal is super scary. This looks like a game I want to go here, here in Long Castle. Okay, we're getting after it here, aren't we? I'm gonna stick to our rule of pretty much capturing all the time. If they can't capture, recapture with a pawn. Knight takes, bishop b2. And there's no e4. Important to know. Bishop there feels like he's asking for trouble, right? Are you guys feeling the, the energy of the position? This feels wrong on many levels. What is the issue with it? There's an issue somewhere, we just have to find it. things look like they win. Almost every move looks good here. Like, first of all, knight takes d5, I think, is the way to start. And after queen takes d5, I think knight takes here is very decent, but I think the important move, I mean, I could try rook h7, but I think simply knight takes g5. Now, if he takes here, he loses. And if he takes on g2, we give him a rook check and then take here. Notice how our uh, our backside is covered, right? Because if queen g1, we just move our king and uh, the rook is even uh, defended on a1. Nice. 
GG. Yeah, it, he made a mistake there, Bishop G5. But you know what? His real mistake was Bishop H6. Might not look like it. Like, oh, it was something else. But Bishop H6 is just wrong. It's just wrong for many reasons. And because he did this, he played King G7. He played Bishop here. Maybe he wanted to go back. It's like all that instead of just that. Bishop G7 is just simple, man. So yeah, he just tried to be too fancy in the opening. And we didn't have to play D3 and allow a trade. It wouldn't be a bad thing if I did, by the way. But I see a move like this. And... This is part of our normal repertoire anyway. Do it. Because that, that bishop just looks silly there. Thanks a lot, Will. 60 months from Will Flynn. A tier 2, and he's been a tier 2 for a really long time. Thanks a lot to Will. Five years on the dot. Appreciate the resub, my man. Let's go here. Let's get castled. See what setup he goes for. All right, we've done this before. E4, but now we see D6. Ugh. These are the pretty boring games where it's like, uh, uh. <laughs> these games are a little boring. Not gonna lie. So how do we keep some life in the position? I'll play E3. Yeah, those games are too boring, Eddie. Yet. I don't enjoy them at all. Don't enjoy them at all. Here. I think maybe ninety two. I think he misunderstood anger problems. I said that if I played pawn takes, pawn takes, traded queens, and just played a completely symmetrical position with no queens on the board, that that would be boring. Queen b6? Can I not hang on to this pawn here? I mean, I guess it's time to take then. Time to take. Easy decision. I feel, I really feel like I'm walking into something that someone wants me to walk into, you know? This hasn't felt very routine. This hasn't felt simple at all. All I wanted to do was like, just keep some pieces on the board, but damn, it's like, <laughs> just can't do it. Position is not comfortable. Ugh. Really tough stuff here. Can't think of anything to do except this. Now we have not only the queens off, not only a symmetrical position, but the only asymmetry is a weakness for me. Although, I'm not sure I agree with his decision right there.
This is uh, pretty okay, actually. I know I'm down a pawn, but I don't really place... I almost place no value in these, <laughs> in these pawns. They don't seem very useful to me, so... Hide our king on e2 pretty nicely. We have knight d5, bishop b2, and our, our position is looking up again. A small recovery. Nice, very nice. Pick up that pawn for free now. And yeah, we've got two nice, easy open files. And the fact that uh, that pawn is there doesn't really matter. Help us out. Just a little rookie aid for the road, you know? Never hurt nobody. Knight c7, knight d5 looks good, but getting a rook to d7 looks good. Crushing. I want to do this. Rook g2, rook f2. Takes, takes. I think that is the best way. No, he doesn't even... He doesn't even give the check. Now, this looks like a problem because takes and bishop f6 is about to win the game. Just take everything in sight. King f7. I think knight, maybe knight c7 would be good. Any knight e5 we're taking on the spot. It was nice to cover the knight squares, but I think we need to anchor our piece in instead. This pawn is not really a, not really a big priority, I would say. Um, this pawn is though. That pawn I do like. Cause now, I, now we have a pass pawn that's motoring up the board. Yeah, I think this is done now. We're not going to let his king out. Box him in, baby. Now that'll... <laughs> That'll be a resignation. Pretty tough position. I was not enjoying it earlier. I'm not gonna not gonna lie. That looked like a really it looked like he knew his opening really well. D6. The thing is, I, I've seen this before and I know that this is like the main stuff, whether you take or not. Takes takes bishop b3 and like queen b3, queen b5. I've seen it before. It's like a little bit better for white, but nothing crazy in my opinion. Um, so I did this, but um, as it turns out. Knight d7, this is just really strong for, for my opponent. I did this, queen b6, and I was like, what the hell do I do here? Right? The, the top moves are like rook b1. And what's the idea here? Just losing a pawn, right? Bishop takes, there's bishop f2, so... Yeah, honestly, this is the line. b3 and just play this position. I guess the bishop pair is 
pretty decent compensation, but can't just be losing a pawn in the opening for no reason. So it turns out black wasn't that much better at all, but I thought they were. As for what we did, hmm, ah, opportunity missed here to do that. That would have been significant. Only one pawn, but obviously without, it's a good pawn. Remember the pawn that, that he was up in the game? It was this, right? That pawn. I don't even know if this is, <laughs> I don't even know if I would call this an advantage anymore. And, and it quickly turned around, so. We're at 2,097 and uh, we're playing for 2,100 with the English. Let's see if we can end on a good game. Just a, you know, a feel good game. What? <laughs> mm -hmm. I say what? Well, I mean, can you really play knight f5 and have me not play e3? Of course I'm going to play e3, right? Only makes sense. What's going on here? What is going on here? This is such a strange setup. He's just going B5. Do we just throw caution to the wind and say, whatever, B4, right? Just full send it. We don't care about pawns. Maybe D4. I even have e4. Tons of pawns coming at him. This definitely looks good. <laughs> definitely looks good. I don't believe in this move. Um, I think he's gonna regret that. Also, I have queen a7. This looks good though. This looks like the right energy. Just absolutely sending pawns up the board. Oh, he did it. We suckered him in, guys. Got him. But that was never gonna work. I mean, even Queen D1 and Bishop here or Bishop H6, like he was definitely dead. Queen, A Queen D1, Knight takes Bishop H6, it's like He's at least losing the knight. He's maybe getting mated after. It was never going to be good. And I think we will end off on a nice game. Crushing game. We're up two pieces. Yay. Knight here. King over. We should probably defend the... Uh, probably take care of the rook first. It's not a very fun move, but you know, we just gotta move this thing. <laughs> we gotta move this thing. Hey, there we go. Rook C1. Knockout blow. 